InnovaBuzz podcast, helping smart businesses be even more innovative. Hi, I'm Jürgen Strauss from InnovaBiz. Welcome to episode number 56 of the InnovaBuzz podcast, designed to help smart businesses with an interest in innovation become even more innovative. This has been another busy week at the InnovaBuzz Hive. During the week, I met with a couple of my partner companies in what I call accountability meetings. The first of those are a group of people from the WP Elevation community in Melbourne who work together to support each other's business. I'm always grateful to have other business owners with similar challenges and concerns to share experience with and who hold me accountable to goals and plans that I set. I'd encourage every business owner to find communities like this that you can join, contribute to and who can hold you accountable to your goals. And of course, contribution is really important here as well because helping others be accountable for their goals and plans is part of the deal. The second group is a monthly coaching class where we are now focused on getting our planning set in place for 2017 and beyond. This week, we reflected on what we've achieved in 2016 and what was the most awesome achievement or transformation that our businesses experienced in 2016. Reflecting back on our year at InnovaBiz made me realise how much we've done and achieved in the past 12 months and also how much has changed from this time 12 months ago. Being in the business on a daily basis means you sometimes forget how far you have come on the journey you're on. So reflecting on the success and transformations of the past 12 months and celebrating those successes was a very valuable exercise. Of course, the other businesses in the group shared their awesome achievements and transformations too. And it was inspirational to hear how far they have come with their business on their journey in the past year, as well as rejoice with them in their successes. Now to plan for an even more awesome 2017. The other big highlight from this week was the launch of Michael E. Gerber's new book, Beyond the E-Myth. As one of the book launch ambassadors, I was privileged to contribute in a small way to the book launch, as well as reading a preview copy of the book, which I highly recommend to every small business owner. So we'll have a link in the show notes for that. In fact, for the next day or so, you can still get Beyond the E-Myth in Kindle version from Amazon for less than the price of a cup of coffee. I strongly suggest you do just that. You can go to Amazon and read the many reviews that are already there, including my own review of Michael's new book. And of course, I had the great pleasure of interviewing Michael about his new book and the entire Beyond E-Myth movement in episode 54 of the InnovaBuzz podcast. If you haven't already, go check it out. It's an epic interview. Now, the theme of this week's podcast is play a bigger game. I decided that there was a message that kept popping up in my head and being reinforced over and over by others over the past couple of weeks. First, my buddy Troy Dean posted a Facebook Live video urging everyone to whatever you have planned for the next 12 months to 10 exit. So play a bigger game is going on in my head. Then some of my clients were talking about the need and desire to play a bigger game. And of course, this came up in the goal setting and planning sessions that I mentioned earlier. Now, playing a bigger game requires planning, setting up the right environment, structures and enlisting the help of others, team members, accountability buddies, customers and suppliers. But above all, it requires action. Not perfect action because that takes far too long to get underway and procrastination tends to take over. So what's required is imperfect action focused on the outcomes that you have in mind. It requires innovation and creativity. And if you don't really know the difference between that, listen to Michael Gerber on the InnovaBuzz podcast episode describing the difference between innovation and creativity. 
We all know that the pace of change in today's internet world is accelerating exponentially. Just look at what's happening to the taxi industry worldwide with Uber and Lyft coming on the scene. What challenges the hotel industry is facing with Airbnb now being the biggest provider of accommodation in the world and they don't own a single property. If you're not innovating, then be prepared to be disrupted and made redundant as a business, service or product. So at Innovabiz, moving into 2017, we too will be playing a much bigger game and setting the environment, systems, actions and people in place to make that happen. And most importantly, to enable that to be replicated both in our business and in other businesses. Thinking back to when we started the InnovaBuzz podcast back almost two years ago, I didn't then imagine that I'd be interviewing Michael E. Gerber on that podcast. Effectively, I limited my own thinking, as we all so often do. And then recently, that opportunity presented itself and Michael came on the podcast, as you know. Of course, in the meantime, we've had a lot of awesome guests and great interviews and great business people who've generously shared lessons that they've learned with you, my audience. We're definitely going to continue to bring you great interviews, now with the added benefit of not limiting our thinking on who we might be able to bring on the show as a guest in future. So, we will be playing a bigger game with the InnovaBuzz podcast, and I welcome suggestions and ideas from you of topics that you'd like us to cover, guests you'd like us to have on the show, and generally, how we can make the podcast even more valuable to you. Finally, I wanted to share a tool and tip with you. Part of our playing a bigger game at InnovaBiz is updating and upgrading our systems and process documentation within the business. And that's our tip for today. Make sure your systems and processes documentation within your system, within your business, is really good. Now, someone shared a tool with me this week that may very well make the documentation process much easier. That tool is called Clarify, C-L-A-R-I-F-Y. It allows you to compose a document, embed multiple screenshots from right inside the app, mark up the document with text, with arrows, with signposting and numbering, and much more. Then export the document as a PDF file, as a Word file, send it to Evernote, WordPress, or the web. Now we'll be putting Clarify through its paces over the next few weeks and I'll update you on our findings in a future podcast. So the tip of the week is whatever tool you use, get your processes and systems well documented and if you have them documented already as we do, then make sure you have a process in place that updates them, that audits them, and that improves them on an ongoing basis. And as I say, Clarify is the tool we're taking a look at right now and I'll report back when we have some more information. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and that there was something of value there for you. All the show notes for today's episode will be at innovabiz.com.au forward slash 56 or 56. That is the numbers 56, innovabiz.com.au forward slash 56, where you'll find all the links and everything that we spoke about in the episode listed there. Now, thank you to my audience for listening. We really appreciate you being here and, and you're the ones we do this for. Although I do love doing it, I must admit that. So I get a lot of satisfaction out of sharing the information. And also when we have guests on, of course, it's like a a masterclass for me as well as I hope for the audience. So if you feel so inclined, jump on over to iTunes or Stitcher or Pocket Casts and subscribe so you'll never miss another episode. Now, while you're there, you might leave us a review because not only do reviews help us get found, your feedback gives us information and helps us to improve. Now, if there's anything, as I said earlier, if there's anything you'd like us to cover or questions you'd like us to answer on future and overbuzz podcasts, please send them over to us 
and we'll address them in a future podcast. Until next time, I'm Jürgen Strauss from Innova Biz, where we'll be playing a bigger game from now on. Remember, if you don't innovate, you stagnate. So think big, bigger still, 10 exit, then be adventurous and keep innovating. Mm-hmm.